Fungis, fungies, lion's mane mushroom. We've been talking about fungies for a little bit. One of my favorite ways to get in mushrooms right now, it is probably the most delicious mushroom product and mushrooms don't usually taste very good. <laughs> Fungies puts these wonderful flavored mushrooms in uh, chewables and usually mushrooms don't taste very good. So it's actually kind of incredible. We're also getting very high quality. We're getting 500 milligrams of actual fruiting body, not mycelium. So they're sourcing the correct part of it and it's working well. What does lion's mane mushroom do? Well, lion's mane is probably one of the better known mushrooms on the market. I'm not sure why it became one of the only ones that people know very well, but it's a really cool looking mushroom. But what's really cool about it is that it increases neurogenesis. So I've had a lot of talk about certain kinds of magical mushrooms recently. I'm going to keep m most of this content away from that, but uh, one of the best analogies that I've always heard is that while those special kinds of mushrooms open up new pathways, lion's mane lays cement, lays brick and mortar in those new pathways. It helps with new creation of neurons. Now, the real reason that we take lion's mane mushroom is because of the beta glucans content. These are specialty polysaccharide carbohydrates that have incredible implications for human brain tissue. The process of new neuronal growth and differentiation is called neurogenesis. So you'll hear that talked about a lot in this video. Now, impaired levels of neurogenesis is associated with aging, mood state, anxiety, a lot of other stuff. So that's why we look at a lot of supplements that can modulate that amount of neurogenesis, which could mean restoring it back to baseline or increasing it above that. Now, the beta-glucans in lion's mane have been shown to upregulate nerve growth factor. And that's how it plays a role in this whole process. What's interesting about nerve growth factor is it isn't just produced and circulated in the central nervous system. It's actually found in many different kinds of human cells, including structural cells like epithelial cells, veins, smooth muscle cells, fibroblasts, and others. Accessory neurons like gyllo cells and astrocytes and immune cells like lymphocytes, glenulocytes, mast cells, and eosinophils. I don't know that one, but Mike has it noted in the comments. Those all contain NGF. So it's safe to say that NGF being produced helps out with our brain, but a lot of other things as well, obviously. This concept of holistic supplementation is not new we know that a lot of the things that we do for supplementation for sports performance or overall well-being or focus or anything usually has downstream benefits in other places as well so let's look at a couple of the research studies on lion's mane in 2009 there was a japanese study in elderly adults with mild cognitive impairment when it comes to cognitive uh, products we're usually going to see a bunch of studies on people with impairment it's the easiest way to find like we we're saying of restoring things back to baseline. It is not always going to be high performing adults looking at improving from there. So this was a double blind, randomized, placebo controlled study, 30 men and women with age related cognitive impairment. Subjects who got lion's mane took three grams per day for 16 weeks. That is a lot more than you'll get in here. So I'm gonna note that uh, we, will be, we will be talking about a different amount of dosages, but I should say I've definitely consumed three grams of lion's mane from these in one day. Uh, they're very good tasting. Both groups started the study with an average score of 23 points on the revised Hasigua dementia scale, which is a qu questionnaire. The maximum score is 30 points. So they scored 23, not too bad, honestly. And by week 16 of the study period, the Lions main group saw a four point increase in their score, putting them at 27 points on average. The placebo group saw a very slight increase about to about 23.5. What's very interesting is that the study actually stopped Lions main treatment at week 16 and then monitored for another four weeks. And the Lions main group dropped to about 25. In another study in 2020, 49 weeks of lion's mane was used to prevent neurodegeneration. Now this is interesting because it is unusually long for a study. They carefully checked out these participants for three weeks to ensure that the subjects weren't being influenced by other drugs that could confound the results and then put them to 49 continuous weeks of lion's mane. At regular intervals through this treatment period, their mental state was assessed using NPI, CASI, MMSE and IADL. These are all assessments of cognitive and emotional health. And the last assessment was for how well people can function without the aid of a caregiver. Every single one of these assessments did improve, though not every single one was technically statistical significance. On some of the assessments, even uh, some of the placebo groups got worse during the period. We definitely need a larger study to confirm all of these things. In 2010, there was an anti-anxiety and mood boosting study. 30 females with an average of 41 were assigned to either two grams daily or a placebo using an indefinite complaint 
complaint index ICI. It's a questionnaire. By the end of the four week study, the women who took the lion's mane had a significantly lower ICI. So some of the limitations of the studies are that they were mostly in people with existing neurological or psychiatric treatments. And obviously there were also big dosages. Until a randomized placebo controlled study comes out in humans looking at normal humans boosting above cognition, not in anti-anxiety or any sort of way, just normal humans in a cognition study. We don't have that claim just yet. In animal studies, we do see that we can increase hippocampal neurogenesis by 30%, protect cognition from impairment by beta amyloid plaque toxicity, promote nerve regeneration in rats with nerve injuries, decrease blood pressure through ACE inhibition, improve blood uh, lipid profile. One particular note was that there was a 25% reduction in blood triglyceride levels observed in lion's mane groups in rats. Kind of crazy. Overall, lion's mane has been very well studied, albeit maybe in cell studies and animal studies to increase neurogenesis. It's one of the most prominent mushrooms. And it's true, I probably take a lot more of it than this will give you in one serving. I take about a gram on its own and then add these in on top of that. But 500 milligrams is definitely not chump change when it comes to fruiting body extracts of lion's mane. I got to commend them for giving a good extract as well as making it taste very good. Comment below. Let me know. Do you use lion's mane mushroom? Do you enjoy it? Does it make a difference for you? Pretty much everyone I know that's into supplements uses some form of lion's mane at some point. It's very helpful. I have found for myself uh, and I just can't argue with the actual taste. As always, guys, I do have to say I got this bottle for free. We do have a business affiliate relationship with Fungies. Uh, but if you check one of these out, I'm sure you'll agree that the flavor is absolutely out of this world. And I think we all agree. Lion's made some awesome stuff. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.